Hello and welcome to Morant's vlog series. We all know mistakes happen. Important clauses might be omitted or instructions misunderstood. Sometimes a document can have unintended consequences. Mistakes can have serious financial and reputation impacts. And today I want to look at one of the ways we can assist to correct mistakes made in the preparation of documents. This is by use of an application to court seeking rectification. Rectification looks to correct a mistake in the way a transaction has been expressed in writing. This might be because the drafter has not followed the instructions given. It might be because of an error in the physical production of a document. For example, an important schedule being left off when it was signed. Rectification allows the court to rewrite the document so that it, is ac so that it accurately records what the parties intended. An example of this was in the Guernsey case of Reed B. In that case, the document produced mistakenly created a grantor trust for US tax purposes rather than the intended non-grantor trust. This had serious tax implications for the settler that could only be fixed by rectification. In that case, the court was satisfied that rectification should be granted. To obtain rectification is necessary to show convincing evidence that the document does not reflect the true intention of the parties. To demonstrate the true intention of the parties, it is necessary to examine the history leading to the creation of the document. Evidence such as emails from the time setting out what was intended can be of assistance. So too can earlier drafts of the document. It's very helpful to have recollections of the individuals involved in the process. It's important to remember the relief is discretionary. The court won't grant the relief if there is some other practical remedy available. You must give full and frank disclosure to the court of any evidence that might undermine the application. There can be difficulties obtaining evidence, particularly when the mistake is only discovered some years later on. And, and finally, there is no time limit on obtaining rectification, but there must be no undue delay in seeking relief once the mistake is discovered. So it's important to seek advice early on. If you have any queries around this topic, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.